Hey friends, welcome to the channel. If you ask yourself how AI could make your favorite language learning app link even better, you found the right video. Los geht's! My name is Dustin, I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel we create content that helps us be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages, and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Today I want to show you the newest feature that Link has introduced, which improves drastically my language learning experience. But before that, I will give you again a quick recap of what Link is and on which language learning principles it builds, as well as why it's such an important part of my daily routine. After that, we will have a look at the issue of audio content without transcripts, how the new feature of Link can solve that using AI, and I will then show you the feature live. Next, I will show you some other new features and improvements that are really useful and important to know. In the end, we will draw a conclusion and I got also a small surprise for you. So make sure to watch till the end. All right, let's dive into today's... Uh, wait, 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 wait. First, you know what comes next? A nice sip of coffee. All right, let's dive into today's topic. In school, we learn that in order to get fluent in a language, we first need to know its structure, the grammar rules and lots of vocabulary. Then we consciously use that to speak and write. This is called, in scientific terms, the skill building hypothesis. And to do that, you need to spend a tremendous effort and lots of energy, while it can be really boring and daunting. I mean, when you speak in your mother tongue, you are not consciously thinking about grammar rules and stuff. And still, you are able to produce flawless sentences and complex phrases, right? And their link comes into play, which is an app that helps you to read and to understand a foreign language through reading and listening. It's based on the comprehension hypothesis by Stephen Krashen, which says that through the consumption of language in spoken and written form, we assimilate it. The content needs to be comprehensive, so at the right level for you to be understood, and compelling, which means interesting, for you in specific. Further, it makes your progress visible, which also motivates a lot. If you want to know more about the app in general and the underlying principles, I've already made a video about that and I will also link it somewhere here. So it's all about the content we consume and this leads us to the problem. When we are looking for content, we often have the issue that we don't have audio and text. In case there is only text, Link can make an auto-generated audio file. And I've already described that in a different video and I will also link it somewhere here. But if we have only audio but no text, so far we had no chance to get a transcript easily. Yes, we can in theory write one ourselves and use that as an exercise, but it takes a lot of time and slows us down. Or we could ask a native speaker or pay someone to do so, but this needs also planning and adds unnecessary friction to our learning. I know, probably you can't hear that buzzword anymore, but also in this case AI can be a huge help. Whisper is a product of OpenAI, the company that also does ChatGPT. And I've already made a video about that and how it can help you with your language learning and I'll also link it somewhere here. Whisper is an automatic speech recognition, so ASR system, trained on 680,000 hours of multilingual and multitask supervised data collected from the web. This means it's able to process all your files and generate transcripts not only in English, but also many other languages. If you are interested in how that works in detail, I will also put links in the description. And now you maybe ask yourself, what the heck has that to do with Link? Well, Link has integrated Whisper AI into the import functionality and thus allows us now to generate our own transcripts effortless. Now let's have a look at the new feature together. So first of all, if we want to have a transcript, we need to have an audio file. So make sure to get that up front. I like really to listen to a podcast called Cosmo Italiano and I go to the page. So this is the, the, the web page of Cosmo Italiano and there you can also find always the download links. Make sure to do a right click and save link as. 
this way you get the audio file. Otherwise, when I just click on it, a web player will open and you don't get the audio file. And this is often the case with such podcasts. So now we have the audio file, that's cool. And next step is to go to link. I've already prepared a uh, course. So I've created the course upfront. That's what I usually do. And this way you just have to import the new lesson and then attach it to the already existing course. Here you can see also a nice thumbnail and the name of the course. And that's what I really like to do because um, it's important to stay motivated and if it just looks aesthetically pleasing, this definitely helps. Okay, and next step is in order to upload the audio file and get the transcript to click on the, the plus with a page on the top right. And there you have different options, but we click on import lesson. Okay, now it's loading, there you go. First of all, we need to have a title for our new lesson. So we choose, or I usually take the date and then I copy the title of this specific podcast. There you go, as you can see, it cuts the end. So there's a limitation in characters, but I just circumvent that and put in point point at the end. And uh, there you go. Now we need to upload the audio file. You can do that here with a plus button. And there you have two options. You can either upload the audio file or you can put in the URL, which works. But, and this is important, if you wanna have a transcript, you need to upload the audio file. Otherwise it won't work. So really make sure to click on select file and we choose the file we have just downloaded. Click on add and there it is. And then last but not least, you need to also add the course. You can do that here and choose this one, Cosmo Italiano, select add. Okay, now it also gets imported into the right course. And last but not least, we click on generate automatic transcript. And then we'll also save the whole thing. That's what we do now. So click and now you can see on top saving lesson. It does that, but now it takes a while. It takes a while to generate the transcript and we get also uh, we get also a different message. So wait a minute, and there you go. And now you get this message. This lesson isn't yet available for editing. Full import in progress. Try again later. And the thing is, this page doesn't really uh, refresh itself. So this would stay there forever. So at some point you need to look into the course to see if the lesson has been already imported. But based on my experience, this takes a while. This can take uh, several minutes and it depends on the length of the audio file you have uploaded. So let's see. Okay, now we have waited about 10 minutes, a bit less, like seven minutes or so for a 16 minute audio file and now we can open it. Here it is. And yeah, this is the transcript. And I have to say that it's quite, quite good. So I've already done the session of yesterday and read through the whole transcript of the podcast and it has been quite accurate. Note though that if you have parts within the podcast or audio file which are in a different language than the target language in which you are importing, those will just be cut out, which is a good thing. So you don't have a scrambled uh, approach to get up with something, but you just have the parts that are in your target language transcribed that I noticed here because sometimes you have parts that are German and then they switch to Italian. Now let's come to the other new and useful features. Importing of text only with the import extension. For those times when you want to import a section of a page only, you just highlight the text you want and click on import. And this way you can specifically choose what you want to import. It's pretty neat. Then the sentence review on all platforms. The new sentence review is available on all platforms with the ability to see all sentence vocabulary in a list on the page available as a setting. Then DeepL has replaced Google Translate for sentence and default translations. And I'm really happy about that because DeepL is also my go-to translator tool. For the languages it has, I would say it's better than Google Translate. Next one, known words targets per level adjusted to account for language variances better. 
So the targets were too uniform before, not taking into account the variances of the different languages. Like if you're learning a language with a different script or which is in general harder to learn, it just makes sense to adjust the targets and also the other way around. So if you are learning a language that's closer to your native language, the targets have to be higher. How it gets calculated exactly, I can't tell, but I'm looking forward to seeing how it works in detail. Loading of new lessons in chunks. That means if you import something, it doesn't necessarily get split up anymore in many small parts, but you have rather one big chunk. My imports got messy after a while, especially for stuff like YouTube videos. And I really like this feature. For now, it only works for lessons generated using the transcript generation feature, but this will be coming for all imports soon. Then transliteration for additional languages. So languages written in non-Roman scripts now have an option to see transliteration. Okay, but what the heck is transliteration? So that means that if you have a different script in a language, you just replace the characters with equivalents of your alphabet in order to make it easier to learn or to get started. But of course, we need to be careful because our alphabet often can't really replace the foreign script or the different script and we also have different sounds in our language so we need to be careful about that but probably that's a good way to start with learning a language with a different script but i can't really tell because i haven't learned a language with a different script yet but i'm looking forward to do so in future and last but not least Swahili has been added as the first African language at Link, and I'm really happy about that because there's so many African languages and there are millions and millions of speakers and I think they definitely deserve to be there and Swahili is the first one but I can imagine that there will be also other ones in future so stay tuned. When it comes to building up a solid comprehension in a foreign language without losing the motivation Link is, in my opinion, the best tool to use. It allows you to follow the comprehensible and compelling input hypotheses by offering you not only content to start with, but also the possibility to import your own material. This is especially important to keep it compelling. What you are learning should be interesting to you. So you should watch out for content that matches your hobbies and curiosity. And also, Link is providing you with statistics and markers of your progress that you can see how many words you have learned, how many links you have created and so on, which also feeds your motivation. The new feature allows you to now also import audio files and get high quality transcripts, which opens up new possibilities in finding comprehensible and compelling input. Especially for podcasts, this is very useful and I can't wait to use it extensively. And now I also got a surprise for you. I've asked the Link team for a promo code to get an additional 5% discount on the yearly subscription. This makes a total discount compared to the monthly subscription of 35%. I'm using Link now for almost three years and changed my language learning for the better. I'm currently approaching my sixth language and I wish that many other people from all around the world make the same experience that I had. The code is B underscore 12 Dustin and a link that can also be found in the description. In order to use it, you must sign up for a 12 month plan and paste your coupon in the coupon field. Last but not least, if you haven't tried out Link yet, Try to use the free version to get a feeling and to see if it suits you and if you like it. Small disclaimer at the end also, if you also want to be able to speak a foreign language, you need to also practice that. Reading and listening to content will help you with that because you'll be able to understand. But speaking is a different skill that needs to be trained separately. For that, I've also already made a video and I will also link it somewhere here. Please let me know in the comments down below how you like the new feature and what else you want to see within Link. How can it be made even better? If you want to have some more information on how to use Link, I've also already made a playlist about that. Or if you currently can't spend any money, I've also made a video about the best free language learning app. And last but not least, Please make sure to leave me a like and a subscription to the channel and to not miss anything going forward, click on the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time.